Hey everyone, it's Sahara. So I've got a how does he or she feel about you pick a card reading today. It's highly requested, so I thought I'd put one out. I think I've done one before, but this one's a little bit more straightforward. Okay, so we have eight cards here, and I want you to close your eyes and think of your person of interest. And when you open them back up again, the number that catches your eye is the answer to your question. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Oh, and don't forget to download my free ebook on tarot cards. It's super fun and super entertaining. Okay, now we can dive, we can dive right in. Okay, so we have number one. If you chose number one, let's see how he or she feels toward you. Oh, the magician. This is such an interesting card guys and i'm going to tell you why so this person is putting on an illusion that isn't true to who they are because they want you to perceive them in a certain way and as feelings it can vary depending on where you are with this person currently so if this is someone that you're currently talking to or maybe this is someone you're in a relationship with um be careful because this person might have a lot of charisma and charm and they're very alluring and they just know all the right things to say but as they all say all that glitters is in gold and so the best case scenario is that yeah this person isn't really being true to themselves but i mean it happens you know when you're dating or when you're with someone so they're going to put their best face forward to impress you but they're not being themselves okay and the worst case scenario is that there's a chance that this person is manipulating you and it's also the most likely scenario. And they're manipulating you with their charm to get what they want. So this is someone who's low-key like, ha, 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 ha. I'm really smooth and I can have this person in the palm of my hands if I wanted to. <laughs> so be careful. Um, this person knows how to use game to get people to do what they want. Okay. Now, if this is an ex or some sort of former lover that you're currently not speaking to, this person is literally like the Great Gatsby. So real quick, if you don't know who the Great Gatsby is, it's just this guy um, who throws the super expensive, super lavish parties just to get the attention of one girl he truly loves, okay? So... For example, as an illusion, this ex might want you to think everything is going well for them. You know, maybe they're on social media or they literally got married just to show off um, or put on a show that they, they moved on. It could be anything, social media, putting on airs, but whatever illusion that they're putting on, it's bullshit. And they're just putting on illusion and, and hoping that you think that they're some sort of hot shot. But really it is the magician so they're not as great or as happy as they might seem okay all right so let's move on to number two and let's see how he or she feels toward you oh so we have the five of cups so this person is experiencing feelings of loss and regret toward you for sure and in this card, you can see that this man is just staring um, at the three cups that have been knocked over. And he's harping on it. Like, damn, like, look how things have turned out. This really sucks. So they're kind of feeling sad about it, um, this person. This person's feeling sad toward you. And they might even be brooding about it and kind of allowing it to be some sort of dark cloud over their life. And this person is also having a hard time thinking about the upsides of things. They're just too focused about the negatives and they're seeing things through a pessimistic point of view. Okay, so overall, this is someone who's very sad and deeply hurt over how things have transpired between you and this person and they're not taking it too well. Um, for some of you on the outside looking in, they might seem like they've got it together, but don't believe the hype. Um, they're definitely feeling down in the dumps here for sure. Poor guy. Or poor girl. <laughs> All right, let me scoot this over. All right, so if you chose number three, let's see um, how this person feels toward you. Whoa, you have a reversal. 
we have the Six of Swords reversed. So this person is holding a grudge for sure. Um, this is not someone who will not allow bygones to be bygones for some reason. Um, this is not someone who wants to resolve whatever issues need to be resolved. Or maybe they feel like they've tried to resolve the issue in the past and they've tried to fix the problem, but things just aren't working out for some reason. Whatever the problem is, there is a problem here between you guys and it's not getting patched up. So as feelings, this person feels as if they're not being able to move on from something. So maybe they feel like they haven't been able to move on from the actual relationship and it's still weighing heavily on their heart. Or this could be someone who's still holding some sort of grudge in their heart and they're kind of unwilling to resolve it or to forgive or let go and confront things. Okay. All right. So let me skip this over and let's look at number four. Number four, how does this person feel toward you? The two of swords. Okay, so I have a feeling that for most of you guys, you're not in communication with this person right now because I always get this card for three scenarios. One, someone has blocked the other person. Two, um, someone isn't being receptive to texts, emails, or phone calls, or three, someone isn't ready to face confrontation and they're doing the whole out of sight, out of mind thing, okay? So one of those scenarios could apply here for you. Now this is, now this person definitely feels like things are unresolved between you and them. And this card just feels as if like there's some sort of like awkward piece here so what I mean is that this person may feel that you guys aren't arguing you're not butting heads but that's only because you aren't communicating at this moment and it kind of feels weird um and this card is all about stalemates and temporary peace so you can just feel like okay you guys aren't communicating but there's still like this undercurrent of conflict undercurrent of anger this weird feeling of not getting along or whatever it may be it's just weird um so things feel super unresolved so yeah that's how this person feels this person feels that there's poor communication and some sort of awkward peace weird feeling between you guys and some unresolved issues okay okay so let's look at number five and let's see how this person feels toward you Oh, so we have the Ace of Wands. So this is someone who feels excited by the thought of you. Um, so as feelings, it depends on where you are with this person. So if this is someone you're casually dating or you're in a relationship with, this card is wonderful because this person definitely has the hots for you. You turn them on, you excite them, and you give them that inner sense of passion and stimulation that, you, that they've been looking for. So this is a good card. Um... Now, if this is an ex, it's also a good card. So let's say you're not currently speaking to this person. This person definitely has a desire to reach out to you, okay? It's like this sudden impulse to want to talk to you and speak to you for sure. And they maybe want to have a little fun, if you know what I mean. Um, but there is a chance that they haven't really followed through with that impulse yet to reach out to you. Okay, let's move on to number six. Let me scoot it over and let's see how this person feels toward you. The King of Swords. Okay, I always say the only place I want to see the King of Swords as feelings is in the courtroom because... The King of Swords is pure logic, guys. This is not someone who engages with their heart. And they would rather engage with their mind. And that's perfect in a courtroom because judges need to make decisions based on facts, never with their heart. But when it comes to love readings, I don't want to see this card because this means that this person isn't engaging with their heart. Literally, guys, I always get the King of Swords to represent my laptop. <laughs> and that's like pure machinery and pure robotics promise you my laptop has no feelings. Um, so this person has just as much feelings for you as your computer. Um, if you're talking to this person, like casually, 
This is someone who wouldn't mind an intellectual conversation with you or answering your questions in a very straightforward forward manner, but you'll find that this person isn't emotionally engaged with you. Even if they might seem like they are, they're not. Um, now, if this is an ex or what have you, this person's emotional engagement is blocked. So they're very mind over heart. And this could be for two reasons. Um, one is that they've successfully allowed logic to take over their emotions. And by that, I mean, maybe they've justified why the relationship won't work. So in that way, they allow themselves to block their emotions. In an extreme case, I, I've also seen the King of Swords as a sociopath. Okay, so maybe this person just isn't an emotional person just because that's just who they are. And then that's how they were born. Okay, all right. So let's move on to number seven. And let's see how this person feels toward you. A reversal. We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this person feels like the relationship, their relationship with you failed to get off the ground for some reason. So perhaps they felt like the relationship had a lot of potential at one point, but then for some reason, things didn't really grow into anything more than what it was. So maybe someone wasn't putting in the effort to make the relationship progress. Um, but now this person feels like the potential or opportunity for something to develop between you guys has fallen apart in some way. Okay. And I, I do feel like for some of them, it feels kind of like, oh, that's unfortunate. Um, so as feelings, this person feels like at one point there was potential for things to grow, but for some reason that is blocked and um, they don't feel like there's any more opportunity for growth in the relationship. Okay. All right, so let me scoot over number eight and let's see what kind of feelings this person has for you. The hermit. Okay, so this is someone who basically wants to be left alone. Um, this kind of reminds me of like a teenager who shuts himself away in his room all day and doesn't want to talk to anyone. Like this teenager just wants to be himself and wants to sit on his laptop, listen to his music and doesn't want to socialize. Um, so someone here doesn't want to mix and mingle, doesn't want to, doesn't feel particularly motivated to hang out and socialize. So it could be you, it could be your person of interest, it could be both of you, I don't know. But I do know that this person is feeling a sense of emotional, physical distance. And I do get the sense that this person of interest feels like there's some sort of cold shouldering going on, okay? So, my interpretation here is that either this person wants to be left alone and doesn't want to be bothered by you, or they see you as someone who is withdrawing and retreating yourself away from them. Okay? To be either one of those, you choose whatever resonates. All right, guys. That is it. If you love this type of pick a card content, let me know by liking, commenting, and some subscribing. So, subscribing. <laughs> subscribing. So that I can make more. Alright guys, ta-ta!